Hello, my name is Brian Klingenpeel and I'm the Community Outreach Coordinator for Roanoke County Fire and Rescue. Today, I'm here at our Cave Spring Fire Station, station number three, and I've got a special guest with me today uh, who has a good news story as well as a message uh, for all of us. This is Frank Thompson. Frank walked into this station on June the 4th to seek treatment for chest pains. And uh, I want Frank to tell us his story today, and as he does that, I think we're going to be reminded about some things that uh, we've probably all heard before when it comes to chest pains, but uh, I think uh, Frank can really make those uh, hit home for us uh, today. So uh, we're going to do that, and then Frank is also going to have a chance to be reunited with the paramedics who treated him that day. So Frank, tell us what happened on June the 4th. Well, my story begins uh, four days before June 4th on Sunday, May 31st, 2020. Um, I was out doing some light yard work and unbeknownst to me, uh, I had a heart attack. Uh, now, I had all the classic symptoms. I had the chest pain, I had the sweating profusely, um, you know, the lightheadedness, um, all, had all of those symptoms, but I had no prior history um, of, of any heart-related issues. I had no symptoms. Night, the night before, I had cut my grass with no symptoms. Uh, so in my mind, and throwing a little male denial, um, it was anything other than a heart attack. It was, you know, I'm experiencing these chest pains from a pinched nerve or something I was doing out in the yard. Right. Um, so after a period of time, my wife, she found me. Uh, my wife, Mary Beth, she found me in distress um, and she wanted to call 911 then and I, many times she asked, I convinced her not to. Right. Um, so 45 minutes into the, the start of it, the pain subsided, the symptoms subsided, um, but I, it left me very lethargic, uh, weak. Um, and obviously not, not feeling very well. Right. Um, and this went on for four days. Okay. Um, I did not seek treatment. I uh, kept telling her this will pass. <laughs> um, so the, those four days, I, I felt very lethargic, very weak, almost felt like I had the flu. Right. Um, so luckily I woke up each and every day. Right. Uh, on that Thursday, I happened to be on the phone with a colleague of mine, Amy King. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's an IT director where I work, mm -hmm. and as we were talking, um, she noticed, she obviously noticed my, the weakness in my voice, mm -hmm. and she said, you know, Frank, what's the matter with you? What's going on? And I was like, well, you know, I just feel like I'm in low gear and, and I'm, you know, just feel lethargic, and I said, I feel like I got, I got the flu. Right. And she, and then I, you know, told her what happened Sunday. I told right. her the symptoms that I was having. Well, then there was a pause and Amy says, Frank, it sounds like you've had a heart attack. Right. And I was like, I didn't have a heart attack. I didn't, that's not what this is. I've got the flu. And she goes, Frank, she was you know, pleading with me, call 911, get the rescue squad to your house. Right. Um, and I'm like, I'm not calling the rescue squad. I mean, I'm just. You know, I don't want to be the center of attention in my neighborhood, you know, right. keel over and pass away, but don't be the center of attention. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. um, so then she, she, she said, well, then go there. Right. Go there and let them assess you. Right. So I reluctantly agreed uh, to go. And my wife and I got in the car and drove here uh, where Josh Long and Justin Ratliff and the team actually met me here at the Bay Doors. Right. Um, and I told them my story. Right. Um, so they said, well, let's, let's hook you up and see what's going on. So they hooked me up and within a few minutes to the EKG, and within a few minutes, um, I believe it was Josh, he pulled the tape and he looked at me and he goes, Mr. Thompson, it's my opinion that either you recently had a heart attack or you are still having a heart attack. Um, and we suggest that you get to the hospital immediately um, and we can take you and we can get you there quickly. So, I mean, if it wasn't for my mask 
I would, they would have seen my jaw probably hit the floor. It's the only thing holding my, because I was like, what is going on? Right. So I kissed my wife, Mary Beth, goodbye. Uh, they loaded me up in the ambulance and lights and sirens. I went off to Carilion Road Memorial. Right. Um, and then the whole time I was in, I was, we were going, but Josh and Justin kept me very calm, kept me very comfortable uh, the whole way there. Uh, so they coded me as a heart patient. Okay. Um, and they, by doing so, got me to bypass the ER and it took me, Josh and Justin took me straight up to cath lab mm -hmm. where they inserted the cath and what seemed like just a few minutes, there was a doctor beside my head saying, Mr. Thompson, uh, we're telling you because you've got one coronary artery that's 100% blocked and you've got another one that looks like it's, it's almost fully blocked, about 95% and we're recommending for you to have open heart bypass surgery. And I just kind of went, what is, you know, what is going on? Yeah. Um, so, you know, a few minutes later, I'm on my way up to Carilion ICU, uh, cardiac ICU, where I was in ICU and PCU for nine days. Okay. Uh, I did have open heart double bypass surgery uh, and I am continue, continuing to recover today. You look great. Thank you. And I, feel, I feel good. Uh, yeah. Remarkably well, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yes. you're doing you're doing wonderful. That is yes. so good to hear. Thank what you. is it you would like everyone else to know um, that could maybe help them out if they ever find themselves in a similar kind of situation? Well, one, don't be foolish like I was. Don't. I mean, don't wait. If you, I mean, I know how lucky I am. I really do because I waited so long. But don't wait. Don't even hesitate. If you experience any unexplainable chest discomfort or pain, um, or even you know, in, something that feels like severe indigestion right in the middle of your breastbone, which I had Sunday morning, okay, and ignored it, right? Uh, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone, call 911, get the rescue squad to your house. These guys know what they're doing, uh, and it, it's best to get them there. It may not be anything, and that's great I mean they'll tell you so but if it is something they can provide you the life-saving treatment that you need and get you to where you need to be to save your life right absolutely uh, but don't be foolish like I was no, I'm your poster child for what not to do when you're having a heart attack yes but you're also a poster child for things worked out well I mean Think, well, um, and, so. and, and call 911 if, if not for yourself do it for the ones that you love or the ones that love you because if you don't it, it just may cost you everything yep and we oftentimes tell people i mean that's what we're here for so i mean don't yes. don't be afraid to call us and to make that call yes uh, absolutely not so. absolutely not yep Frank, would you like to meet, uh, reunite with the paramedics who treated you that day? Absolutely. So we have uh, here today, Justin Ratcliffe and Josh Long, and I'm sure you might have some things you would like to say to them today. I, I do, you know, it's, it's, it's not every day you get to, you know, thank the folks that contributed to your second chance in life. Um, and I, wanna, I can't thank you both enough for giving me that chance. Um, and of just the one thing I want you all to take away is don't ever think that what you do is not important and doesn't make a difference because I'm living proof that it does. So on behalf of my family, I thank you both very much. Appreciate it. Thank Glad you. Glad to see you doing better. Thank you. Thank you. Josh, do you have anything you'd like to add about just what some of our viewers maybe need to keep in mind when it comes to chest pains and how important that is and maybe any tips that we could give them? Yeah, so anytime you have chest pain or shortness of breath, uh, male's left arm pain, female's back pain, um, take it serious. Call earlier rather than later. If I remember right, Frank, I think you waited two days. Four days. So, <clears throat> Four days. you know, the earlier you call, the earlier you get treated. So that's really the main thing. Okay. Thank you, thank you both for what you do. Thank, so, thank you for everything you do. If you'd like more information on uh, any of these tips that we've given you today, you can call me directly at 777-8718, or you can find us on the web at roanokecountyva.gov slash fire rescue.